What's up, awesome YouTubers? Ryan 1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you all. And today I'm here to do a movie update showing you guys the latest uh, releases that I picked up. Uh, and all this is, is 4Ks and horror movies on 4K. So it's the perfect time to talk about these movies because it is October now. Fall is in the air. You got that cool, crisp feel outside. At least here we do. And um, this is the perfect time to watch a lot of your favorite Halloween themed movies. And if you're like me, uh, some great horror movies. And so I want to talk about some of these releases. A majority of them I have seen and I'll recommend them uh, or, you know, just say, you know, purchase them later on. But I'm going to review a good majority of these. Um, there is a small stack of movies I've yet to watch on 4K, but I did pick these up within the last month. So... I definitely want to talk about those and show those off real quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you guys think of these titles. Have you watched these titles? Have you watched these 4K releases? Please let me know down in the comments below. And uh, once again, I am back on YouTube, guys. Uh, welcome to OctoberTube, which I'm calling it on my channel. And so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, but anyway, guys, let's get started. Enough rambling on. Uh, the first small stack of movies are all Scream Factory, Shout Factory titles, and they're all 4K releases, and I've just yet to watch them yet, but I've heard, you know, pretty good to great things about these transfers. So, uh, the first one is Cat People. So, I picked this one up maybe a week after it came out, and it's not a fan favorite of mine. I do really enjoy the movie. It's been a long time since I've seen it, but I did not have, or I did have the previous Scream Factory release, but got rid of that one. So, you know, I'm kind of in this, you know, or I have this goal where I want to collect all these Scream Factory 4K releases. Um, some, you know, I'll get kind of later on, but, you know, I want to collect them all and I want to get, you know, try to get them with the slipcover. So, uh, but Cat People, I definitely enjoyed this movie. Um, it's slow paced. It has, you know, kind of a, a you know, slow pace to it. I just said that. Um, but you do have, from what I remember, a great atmosphere, great soundtrack, great cast, and it's directed really well. So I just need to get around to rewatching this movie and uh, maybe do a review down the road. So we'll see. Um, but really cool. I love uh, the original artwork. And this one does have... Um, uh, reversible artwork so pretty cool there uh, some of these Scream Factory titles the 4k ones don't have reversible artwork but uh, this one definitely does and some other ones do as well but um, yeah cat people looking forward to watching it uh, the next one is dog soldiers I've heard this is definitely an improvement over the previous Scream Factory Shout Factory title um, you know, I had that one, uh, got it during a sale, never watched it, and then when I found out this was coming out, I, uh, you know, gave that one to a friend or got rid of it, and so I picked this one up. Uh, I'm a big fan of the movie. Uh, it's been 10 years since I've seen it, though, or maybe a little bit longer, but I do remember loving it. Uh, Neil Marshall, great director. The Descent is one of my favorite movies of all time. And so I'm looking forward to revisiting this one, and I'm going to revisit The Descent this month as well. But uh, yeah, Dog Soldiers. I've heard the transfer is definitely an improvement. Um, it's got great bonus features on it from what I see on the back, um, from what I saw on the back. And uh, I'm looking forward to watching that one at some point. And the last two are the same movie, but this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, one of my favorite John Carpenter films, and that is The Fog. So... Um, I've yet to watch these releases yet, but I do have the Studio Canal uh, UK 4K release, and this looks fantastic. I highly recommend it. I love it. Um, and this has the same transfer from what I've heard that the uh, UK Blu-ray has, uh, or UK 4K Blu-ray has. Um, but the only difference is this one has a better audio. Um, which that UK Blu-ray, UK 4K Blu-ray, had great audio, but I hear this one has a new audio and it sounds really good, um, but the transfer is the same. However, I remember loving the transfer on the uh, 4K release here and I uh, would definitely recommend picking up the Scream Factory release or if you want to get this release right here, pick that one up as well. 
Uh, John Carpenter on 4K, there's not been one of them that I think looks bad. I love John Carpenter movies on 4K, and I might do a dedicated video just talking about John Carpenter movies on 4K, so... Uh, but yeah, I picked up the standard release right here. I love the artwork. It's classic, but I also love the reversible artwork. That is, I, th I think, a teaser poster when the movie was coming out. And I love how simple that is. I think it's great and uh, very happy to have that. And then I had to get the steelbook or I wanted to get the steelbook. I absolutely love the artwork. It is amazing or it is amazing. Uh, fantastic and uh, very happy with that so um, again I, I think I'm going to do a video dedicating or you know making a dedication video to John Carpenter's The Fog because I just absolutely love the film but I also want to talk about John Carpenter on 4k and really recommend all of them because there's some fantastic ones out there that I think you guys should watch and pick up um, maybe you don't have the blu-ray releases and these are perfect for you guys to get because most of them do have Blu-rays and 4Ks in with them. Uh, so now going on to the movies I have seen. And I'm going to rank these from my least favorite to my top favorite 4K that I recommend to you guys. Now, I will say this. I don't think any of these are bad, but, you know, definitely the, the bottom two are definitely the ones where I would say maybe wait for a great price for them. Don't get them right away type of deal. But all of them pretty much look great. There are, are you know, problems with some of these 4K releases. My top two are definitely fantastic and uh, would recommend buying them, you know, just day one or go out and buy them right away. Uh, but the first one, my least favorite of the stack that I have here that I have seen is Friday the 13th. Now, I'm a huge fan of this movie. I love this movie. When they announced that they were releasing this on 4K, this was one that I had to buy right away. Um, I just absolutely love it. Uh, one of my favorite franchises. This movie I have great memories with, and I have great movies, great memories with the franchise. But um, I wanted to pick this one up. The price is great. It's $19.99 from, you know, the time that I purchased it. So I don't know if it's went up or down yet. But I um, picked it up for $19.99. Does not have the Blu-ray in it, but it just has the 4K. Um, this one right here. This one I am split on because I love the day shots. I love the daytime scenes. I think they look amazing. They look fantastic. You know, right when the character Annie, Annie enters the movie and she's going through the town and, you know, she's needing to get a ride to Camp Crystal Lake, that all looks stunning. And then when you get to Crystal Lake and you get a, all the day shots, they look beautiful. Um, so, you know, just happy with that. Where this 4K falls, in my opinion, is a lot of the night shots. I or not. I would say like 50-50 of the night shots. Um, some scenes look really good. Other scenes have this like dark tone to it, which I know a lot of people have talked about. And there might be one or two scenes where I'm like, I wish it looked better because the Scream Factory Blu-ray, which I actually recommend, you know, over this one, um, has some really good shots in it. And there are scenes, iconic scenes that I remember watching as a kid where you got to see some really cool detail in the background and I, I just I love the first memories I have with the movie so you know a, a scene that I really could tell looked not as good is when Brenda's body goes flying through the window and I just remember that blu-ray release from Scream Factory and previous releases the the scene was well lit and you got to see a lot and the 4k when that scene comes up it's very dark and I was very kind of mixed on that and you know I would say this is a great overall 4k release but if you have the Scream Factory box set with that transfer that is the better one uh, this is definitely a step up from other blu-rays and DVDs that are out there but if you have the Scream Factory box set if you have that transfer that is one where I would say, you know, hold on to that, you know. This right here, if it was like $14.99, if you find it on sale somewhere, pick it up if you're a fan of the movie. But 
Um, overall, again, 50-50 with it because I think there are some great moments on this 4K and then there's some moments where I wish they would have improved on it. Um, but yeah, so uh, overall great 4K release, but not one where I'm going to say, you know, go out and buy it right away. Uh, the next one, slightly an upgrade, or it is an upgrade, um, but, you know, kind of like with the Friday the 13th 4K, there are a few moments in this movie where I wish it was improved a little bit better, uh, but that is I Know What You Did Last Summer. So, this is the 25th anniversary release. I love this movie. I have so many memories with this, watching it on VHS, watching it on TV, having the DVD, having the previous Blu-ray release. And I will say, this is the best the movie's ever looked overall. Now, there are a few moments that I wish they would have kind of improved a little bit better with it, um, kind of uh, lightened up some scenes that look a little dark, which... You know, when it comes to the previous Blu-ray, I'm like, okay, that looked better in some ways. However, this is overall the best the movie's ever looked. There's a lot of great scenes. Again, I'm going to talk about day shots that look amazing, but even nighttime shots. Um, you know, Ryan Phillippe, when his character gets run down by the fisherman in the car, look outstanding. Um, you know, a lot of great moments, great 4K overall. Um, you know, there's one scene, though, that I absolutely love in the movie, but I feel looks a little too dark, and that is the scene when Julie and Helen are in the car, and, and Helen's really kind of just saying how much she misses Julie, how much she misses her friendship, and that whole scene is a very moving scene for me, but when I'm watching the 4K release and I'm watching that scene... I think the Blu-ray quality looks better in that moment. Again, there's more detail in the Blu-ray that you're seeing in the background, a lot of background stuff. And I feel like the 4K during that scene looks a little bit dark. Um, so this is definitely better than the Friday the 13th release. And overall, I would say this is the best the movie's ever looked. Um, however, you know, it's not outstanding. It's not going to be something mind-blowing. Um, however, I love the movie. This is one of my favorites and I had to pick it up. I did not have, I actually got rid of the previous Blu-ray. So, you know, I was going to get this, so I got rid of that one. But I am very happy because you are getting the 4K release, but you're also getting the Blu-ray inside, which I'll show. So, you know, if you don't have this movie on Blu-ray, um, you know, this is definitely one to get because you are getting the Blu-ray. But if you're, you know, starting your 4K collection and say if you have just the DVD, but you're wanting to get the better transfer, the 4K release is definitely worth getting. This is $19.99, and you're getting both the Blu-ray and the 4K. I feel like that's an amazing deal, because the standalone Blu-ray is going for $17.99. So $2 more for the 4K Blu-ray combo. It's definitely worth picking up. You're getting this brand new artwork, which I know some people don't like, but I love it. But you're also getting the original artwork. So that is really cool that Sony did that. And overall, great transfer. Really happy with it. Definitely would pick it up. Uh, again, not mind-blowing, not outstanding, but still a great release. Uh, then we got The Lost Boys. So I picked this one up last week. I uh, got it through Amazon. Um, almost got the Steelbooks, but, you know, they were out of stock. So got the, uh, the standard release of The Lost Boys on 4K. So happy when they announced this because this is my second favorite vampire film after Fright Night. Cannot wait to own that on 4K. Um, and I love this movie so much. It is one of my favorite movies. Great cast, great soundtrack, great vampire film, great atmosphere. Just a classic Joel Schumacher movie. Um, again, Great transfer overall, but nothing that's mind-blowing. Uh, Warner Brothers, though, I give a huge credit to. Like with Paramount, like overall Paramount, Warner Brothers, they are probably, or they are, my two favorite companies outside of boutique labels that are just releasing a lot of great back catalog titles, a lot of great releases. Like Warner Brothers and 4K titles with them, I have overall loved what they released. I think there's so many great releases out there that Warner Brothers has released on 4K, and I'm going to talk about one in a minute. But um, Lost Boys, this is one where I would say 
If you could find it under $20, pick it up. Uh, I found this for $25.99 or it was $25.99 on Amazon and I'm glad I have it. I think overall it looks great, but it's not something that I'm like, you know, going to tell you to go out and buy right away. Uh, wait till a sale happens. If you want to pick it up because you're a fan of the movie, I would totally understand that. But if you have the previous Blu-ray, I think the previous Blu-ray looks fantastic as well, or it looks great. It's a great Blu-ray that came out over 10 years ago. Um, and then the 4K, like I said, great moments in it. I always talk about day shots because I think they look the best when it comes to 4K releases if done right. And it looks great. Uh, the night shots look great as well. This is just not a 4K release that I think is mind-blowing. Um, so, again, you know, you could buy it right away if you want to, but if you wait till a sale happens, maybe Black Friday, I would say it's definitely worth picking up then. Um, great 4K overall, just not mind-blowing again. Uh, the next one, so top three. Now, I did not own the Paramount Presents Blu-ray. Um, I owned the, you know, older Blu-ray that came out, you know, over 10 years ago. That looks fine for what it is, but this looks awesome. Um, and I loved this 4K release. So what I love about this, and I wish, I wish, maybe it was a, you know, rights issue with Scream Factory, but I wish the Friday the 13th 4K release had both the 4K and Blu-ray in it. Um, because this has both the 4K and Blu-ray and this was $19.99 as well. So I don't know if you're getting the Paramount Presents Blu-ray transfer when it comes to this Blu-ray in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure you are. Uh, you know, again, don't know. But um, again, I didn't have that release, so I'm going off what I saw on 4K, and I just thought it looked awesome. Uh, you know, a lot of natural shots. Uh, I thought it looked great. You know, very happy with this release. Absolutely love Fatal Attraction. This is one of my all-time favorites. And again, did not have that Paramount Presents Blu-ray. I heard it looks, I heard, I hear it looks amazing. I had the old Blu-ray, so this was definitely one where I was like, okay, it's definitely worth upgrading on. Um, so Fatal Attraction, I would say definitely go out and buy it. It is one that's for $19.99 right now. It's actually cheaper than the Paramount Presents Blu-ray. So you are getting the Blu-ray and you are getting the 4K release. I know it doesn't say the Blu-ray release on here, um, which I think is weird, but you are getting both the 4K and Blu-ray in here. So um, definitely go and get this. It's definitely worth buying. If you don't own the Paramount Presents Blu-ray and if you waited like I did, uh, this is definitely worth upgrading your either DVD releases or the, you know, first Blu-ray release that they had. Uh, but Fatal Attraction, just fantastic. And my top two, oddly enough, are directed by the same director. And I think both these movies, hands down, look so much, well, they look much better than their previous releases. And I was just so blown away by these 4K transfers. I think these are definitely going to be, or they are going to be, some of my favorite 4Ks by the end of the year when I talk about my favorite releases. Uh, the first one, and this was so hard because this was almost number one for me, or the best 4K of this bunch that I have, but it is at number two, but it's like right up there with the first one that I'm gonna talk about in a minute. And that is The Fun House. Oh, I, I have the previous Blu-ray release from Scream Factory, the 2012 release. That looks great. Uh, I was very impressed with that Blu-ray when it came out. However, I think this looks amazing. I think it looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. I was highly impressed with the daytime shots, which there really aren't a lot of daytime shots in this movie. There's a lot of, it takes, this movie takes place mostly at night, but I think the night shots look amazing as well. The colors though, that are in the film are very vibrant. The, the look of this movie just looks so good. You know, this is a movie that for the longest time was pretty underrated and not a lot of people talked about. And it was one of those movies that over time grew a cult following. I remember seeing this movie on TV and it scared me as a kid. Like it freaked me out. When you saw the, the villain's real look and how he looked in the movie, it was scary for me as a kid. 
But this movie has so much going for it that I love. You have such an awesome cast here, like a great group of uh, four youths in this movie. The center focus characters that I just think are great. Every one of them I, I really like. Um, I love the cast. I think the cast is great. I think Toby Hooper directs this movie so well. Um, I love the fact that this movie takes a long time before, you know, demises happen, before these these four main characters are terrorized in the funhouse. It takes a lot of build up, and I love that. And it's done so well to where you're never bored with it, or at least I'm never bored with it. So you get to know the characters, you get to see them go through the carnival. I, again, a lot of the colors and the, you know, the darks in this movie look amazing. Uh, when you're going through the carnival and they're going to all the different rides and events, it just looks so good. And then when you enter the fun house and you're, you, these characters are having to try to get out of the fun house, um, that stuff looks amazing. So for me, this is highly one of the best. No, it is one of the best 4Ks we've had this year. And I would highly recommend you pick this one up. If you don't have that previous Blu-ray, this is worth getting because you're getting both the 4K and the new Blu-ray transfer in here. So you're getting the, the better Blu-ray transfer, transfer out of the two Blu-rays we've had from Screen Factory. Um, absolutely love this movie. This is one that I just recommend go out and buy right away. Uh, this is a fun and eerie and terrifying movie to watch in October. I watched it in September. I think I'm going to watch it again this month, though. Um, I just absolutely love this. This is my second or third favorite Toby Hooper movie. My favorite being The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then this movie and then the other one I'm going to talk about are definitely top three uh, Toby Hooper movies. But The Fun House, uh, 4K again, amazing. Congratulations to Scream Factory for doing such a wonderful job with this. I know they're getting some flack right now and some people are kind of mixed with them. I love Scream Factory. I've always loved them. I will always love them. No company is perfect. We just have to, you know, support these companies. At least that's how that's how I think about it. Um, but yeah, I uh, love the reversible artwork. This one has it. I, I think that is great. You have the original poster there. Um, I'll open the inside for you. Uh, just outstanding, guys. This is one, again, that I recommend go out and buy right away. It's worth the price, guys, and um, definitely pick that one up. And the last one I'm going to talk about is another Toby Hooper movie. Um, I know some people think Steven Spielberg directed this movie. Steven Spielberg produced this movie and definitely was involved with this, but I give Toby Hooper the directing credit because there are a lot of amazing shots in this movie, a lot of amazing scenes, that definitely are Toby Hooper, and he has a stamp on this movie. Uh, but that is Poltergeist. <sighs> so, you know, like I said, Lost Boys, which came out the same day as this, I think looks great. It's not a movie that is mind-blowing on 4K, though, uh, in my opinion. This is mind-blowing. This is one where if you have the previous Blu-ray release, I love my Digibook, so I'm going to keep it, but... If you have the ple if you have the previous Blu-ray release, if you have a 4K player, go out and buy this movie. If this is one of your favorite movies of all time, or just one of your favorite movies that you love to watch, especially around this time, this is worth picking up. This is day one, or you know, go out and buy it right away type of deal. I love Poltergeist. I love Poltergeist on 4K. A lot of shots, nighttime. Daytime shots are nice and crisp. They don't oversaturate it. It looks perfect. Like you're 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 going to get a real treat with this movie. It's gonna be a real treat watching this movie. Um, I just absolutely loved it. I was mind blown with this movie or with the transfer. This is one of my favorite, you know, horror movies. One of my favorite movies of all time. But the 4K is outstanding. Like I love it. Like I said, the Fun House is outstanding and i almost put the fun house at number one for me or the one that i would recommend the most but poltergeist i just think especially having the previous blu-ray release which looks fine this is a step up though uh when it comes to the picture quality when it comes to the sound um this is just wonderful like i love this release so congratulations to warner brothers for releasing this they did a fantastic job. I thought for the longest time we were never going to get this movie on 4K because this was 
always a film that you know people talked about and and it does have a fan base and people do love it but it took a long time for us to get a 4k release kind of like with the lost boys these were two warner brother titles that took a very long time especially with the blu-ray and 4k gap which was like 10 plus years where it took a very long time for us to get this so uh enough rambling there i just say go out and buy this go buy it right away if you're kind of on the fence of getting this because you don't know how the movie's gonna look if you think the blu-ray looks fine which it does it looks great this is a huge step up though this looks fantastic and this is one like i said go out and buy it right now so uh but that is going to be my movie update uh this is all 4ks uh, again some i haven't seen yet but a lot of them i have seen Going forward, all my movie updates, though, I will be talking about the films um, and, and watch the movies before I talk about them, because I want to recommend either the transfers or the movies, um, you know, and really go, in, really go into detail with them and, and recommend them to you guys or, you know, tell you to wait on them or don't buy them. Um, you know, I'm not one. I like I don't like to be like negative on a movie or negative on a release. Um, but I will be honest and I will tell you, you know, they're either not the best or the best. So um, but anyway, guys, a lot of these are great. A lot of these are definitely worth picking up. Even the ones that I ranked a little lower, you know, I would say get them during a sale or, you know, if you if you love them that much, buy them now. But they're definitely ones where I'm like, if you have like, for example, the Scream Factory Friday the 13th release on Blu-ray, that's the best the movie looks. Um, so the 4K release, you could pick it up or not. Um, or if you want to get it, wait till sale happens. Um, same with some other titles that I talked about. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to stop rambling. I wanted to get another video out for you guys. Uh, you know, uh, I love October. I love this time of the year. And I'm back on YouTube, guys. And I want to talk movies with you guys. Talk about stuff in general. And I hope you guys are doing well. So, as always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. In with a positive, out with a negative. Go eat some Skittles. So much love to you all. And remember to always be yourself. Because you are amazing. And you are beautiful. Alright, guys. Bye.